Welcome to Earl Stewart on Cars with Earl and Nancy Stewart. Reach them with your questions at 877-960-9960. The Mystery Shopping Report is of Drive Time. Drive Time is a used vehicle chain with 134 locations in the United States, uh, 21 in the state of Florida. The West Palm Beach location on Okeechobee Boulevard opened up about four years ago. This car dealership brands itself as a haggle-free, one-price, modern way to buy a used car. However, in the handful of times Earl Stewart on Cars has mystery shopped them, they've done a poor job living up to this promise. Drive time is basically a nice-looking buy-here, pay-here lot. In other words, they finance the cars directly. They lend the money. They are the banker or the lessor. They're the ones that fund the, the the financing of these cars. And this is for people that can't get conventional financing. We also checked out drive time sales practices when it comes to used cars with Takata airbag inflator recalls. They failed each time, even two weeks in a row last fall. In each case, the salesperson failed to stop the sale or even to properly warn the shopper of the potential danger presented by the recall. This week's investigation focused on the Takata airbag recall again. Before sending in Agent X, we identified a used 2012 Honda Pilot EXL with 105,904 miles on it. Now, remember that these Takata airbags degrade over time. They're unstable as they get older. The 2012, that's a six-year-old car. And this one's about to blow. This one's about to go, and it's in Florida. High humidity. Three things. Heat, humidity, and age. <clears throat> this car's got it all. The no-haggle price for drive time was $17,995. It was afflicted with a passenger side to cut airbag inflator recall. This was confirmed on safercar.gov. Here's the report. I called drive time for my car as I, as I was headed down I-95 to begin my investigation. I wanted to make sure the 2012 Honda Pilot was still available. I spoke to someone who said it was on the lot. I didn't get a name. I was approached by a sales manager named Hasib. As soon as I entered the building, Hasib wanted to know if I had talked with anyone yet. I said I had called, but I didn't know who I spoke to. He asked for my phone number and then began to tap away on his phone. He said, hmm. I don't see you in our system. He told me to wait and he would get someone to help me. I waited for a long time, maybe 20 minutes. I got bored so I wandered outside to try to find the Honda Pilot. I found it. Walked around a little more then went back inside. After another five minutes, I was finally greeted by a salesperson. He did not tell me his name or ask for mine. The first thing he said to me was to ask if I had brought my pay stubs with nice. me. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you like to walk into a Target? You're a piece of meat. Or Publix. <laughs> and they say, may we see your pay stubs. <laughs> uh, I was taken aback. I said I was there to buy a 2012 Honda Pilot. I said I'd called earlier, but was told, and, and was told it was available. The salesman did not appear to listen to me. Just ignored it. You know? He asked if I had done a credit app online and if I had money for a down payment. Now this is drive time. Forced. It's got a nice facility. They've got cars out there. You drive in, and, and all they want to know is if you've got your pay stubs, uh, if, if I've done my online credit app, and if I've got enough money for a down payment. Now this this will tell you the status, the type, the mo of these type of. Uh, and, and it doesn't look like that kind of place. Doesn't look like that. Indignantly, I asked him, "What was your name again?" I got his attention. Finally, he introduced himself as Faisal. I repeated that I had come to see the 2012 Honda Pilot for $17,995. Faisal told me that they begin the process with a credit application. Here we go. I shut that talk down by telling him I had my own financing with my credit union. Faisal looked perplexed and remarked, they don't get very many cash deals there. And that's because it's a lot that specializes in the victims of people with bad credit. Faisal got the keys and we drove the car. It was clean, seemed to drive well. I asked him where they check out and fix the vehicles before the sale. He said they do an 89-point inspection and the cars all have a 30-day, 2,000-mile powertrain warranty. Now, powertrain warranties are totally worthless. They might as well make it a lifetime powertrain warranty. I asked him 
how this one checked out, if there are any problems. He said, there are no problems. Now remember, this car does have a problem. It's going to blow up and kill you. It's a, <laughs> That's a big problem. It's a time, it's a time bomb. <laughs> it's got a Takata airbag that hasn't been repaired. And he says, we checked it out. There's no problem. <laughs> we returned to the lot and parked. I asked to pop the hood so I could check the oil. I inspected the dipstick and saw that the oil was dirty and had not been changed. I showed Faisal, who insured me, that they had changed the oil. It was black only because the engine was hot from driving it. So Rick will enjoy that. I knew Rick's head was going to explode <laughs> when you read that part. <laughs> Everybody knows that when you drive a car... Like the, he's holding his skull together right the now. Engine, <laughs> the engine causes the oil to get black. Right. And then it, then it gets clear again yeah. as soon as it cools yeah, off, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, Faisal obviously is not a <laughs> diagnostic master technician. We went inside and Faisal showed me to a seat. I asked him if the pilot had been in the accident. He said he would need to get his manager to look that up. Instead, Hasib came over with an auto check report. He pointed to the auto check score and said 88 was a good score. Obviously, it's not a very accurate score when the car is going to blow up and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> and it's got an 88 score. So if it has a defective Takata airbag, how it could score 88, which says it's within the range of all these cars, I just don't know. I asked Hasib if there were any safety issues that I should be concerned with. Hasib did not answer my question. Instead of answering my question, he said, so you want to buy the car? I said that if my credit union thought it was a fair price, I would buy it. He left to get the numbers and returned with a printed buyer's order. The no haggle price was a selling price, $17,995 plus sales tax and $678.10 in fees. I asked what the fees were. He said $299 for the dealer fee and $380.10 for the license plate. There were options for extended warranties and a GPS tracker, but Hasib did not push these. He said he, they probably don't use a GPS tracker when they finance the car. He said he could hold the car for a day, and I thanked him and left. Drive time once again failed the Takata test, while Hasib did not po proactively conceal the recall on the auto check report. He glossed over it, ignoring Agent X's questions. He didn't bother to review the details of the report. There was willful ignorance. He may not have known about the recall, but we're pretty sure he didn't want to know either. Terrible. Criminal, almost. It's not criminal. That's the bad part about it. I guess lying isn't a crime. You can lie to a customer. Hi, this is Earl Stewart. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to be notified of new videos that we post to our YouTube channel, simply click on the subscribe button at the lower right hand side of the screen.